So let's get started. The first step is how big do you want this to be? So boom, got the size that I want it to be. Now the next step is to dig up the border of where your future patio will be. Alright, so I'm doing this in no particular order. This is just what was the easiest for me. So the next step is I bought these little plant hooks from Home Depot. They're just about four bucks. And I'm just going to drill them to the posts. These are what will hold up our lights. Okay, so this video makes it look like I did like barely anything on day one, but I promise I did a lot of stuff that day. So rolling into day two, I'm going to take this concrete and put it at the bottom of this bucket. I'm gonna get some water, of course, so that we can loosen it up. Then I'm gonna take my handy dandy shovel from the other video to mix it up like I always do. And then I'm just putting it as a base so we can put the post in it. Here's a warning. Please don't try to be like me, all frugal, and trying to, you know, use just a little bit of concrete. Fill this thing up to the very top. It needs to be heavy. It needs to be solid. You want to know how I know? Because my entire project fell over during this whole building process. So please, just take your time, fill it all the way up to the top, and then I'll give you more instructions later. Okay, so we dug the border. Now we have to dig up all of this grass. And this was the easiest way that I found to do it. So start by digging out a small rectangular square. And then you're going to get knee level with the grass and just start scooping it up. And then it'll just start coming out in the shape that you cut it out. So I'll show you how I did it again, but clearly I didn't take my own advice because as you'll see, it's gonna be harder for me to do it because I chose to not get on the ground. Okay, so I found these fake barrel buckets for just 20 bucks a piece versus the real ones, which are $65 a piece. So all I'm doing is I'm just drilling a hole at the bottom so that when it rains, the rain will have somewhere to drain. And then now, here's my second warning. I want you to go ahead and not only fill up the blue bucket with concrete, but you need to fill up the bottom half of the brown barrel with concrete as well. Again, we just wanna make this as heavy as possible. So in total, you're going to have a layer of concrete, another layer of concrete inside of the bucket, and then you're just gonna cover it all up with mulch to make it look nice and pretty. Yay, day three. This grass was horrible. I hated this process. It was tedious and it took just so long just to keep doing this. So if you have a helper, have somebody help you. If you don't have a strong back, have somebody help you. I wish my dog had thumbs because I will put her to work.
So while I started to rake up this dirt, I was realizing that the area that I'm standing in is not really leveled. So I'm just gonna pull this dirt over here to give it a little bit more of a level like the other side. Okay, next step. So there's this tool called a tamp and it was like $30 and I refused to buy it. So I figured the tamp does the same exact thing that I'm doing right here, which is just pressing the dirt down. So as you can see, I'm using my feet as a tamp. So yes, there's still some grass there, but it was day three and I refused to get down there and pull up every little piece of grass that you see because you won't be seeing it for long anyways. All right, so the next step is just line your border with the bricks. Okay, so I got some paver sand and what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to cover up all of this dirt with it because this is going to be the layer between the dirt and the rocks. So I've seen that the easiest way to do it is to take a piece of wood just to smooth it all out. So I will definitely add the measurements and everything like that in the description box below. But for a project this size, you will definitely need about 11 to 12 bags of paper sand and rocks. You can definitely buy more if you want to, but do not buy less or it'll look really spotty and spaced out. Okay, so after I dumped out all the rocks, I'm just going to take this rake and just spread it out as much as possible. But as you can see, I started off with like nine bags. That's also, like I said, I had to go back to the store because that was not enough. Yay, we are almost done. Now I'm just hanging the lights and I got these at Home Depot for about $16 a box and I bought four of them. Moving on to the final touches, got these chairs at Lowe's for just 20 bucks a piece. Then I was able to find this fire pit at the store at home. Ooh, sorry, Layla. <laughs> and it was actually one of the cheapest ones that I could find. It was $75. And of course I had to follow the instructions and put it together. Well, you guys, we are all done, and I'm super excited. It came out just the way I wanted it to. Here's some pictures of the daytime, and then some beautiful footage I took at night with the lights on. So I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you want more content, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you for tuning in to NCTV for another edition of Frugal Fix-Ups.